Hello and welcome to Apex Reviews. Today we're going to be trying to dissect the C7 Z06 traction control system and the electronic stability control or Stabilitrack system. There's a lot going on here and it took me a while to figure it all out. So if I've messed something up, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Let's start off with the traction control system or TCS. If your rear wheels start to spin or lose traction, the TCS will apply the brakes to the spinning wheel and maybe reduce engine power by closing the throttle in order to limit wheel spin. The next level of Nanny is called Stabilitrack, or the Electronic Stability Control. It activates when the vehicle senses a difference between the intended path and the direction the vehicle is actually traveling. Stabilitrack applies the brake to any one of the four wheels in order to keep the driver moving in the direction of intended path. All of the features we're going to be talking about today are controlled through the mode selector knob and the TCS on off button in the middle of that knob. If you're looking to do some burnouts, you're going to need to turn your traction control system off. You do this by pressing the TCS off button one time on the mode selector. You can see there that the traction control has now been selected off and there's only one icon up on the screen. In order to turn it back on, you just touch the button again. If you're wanting to do some donuts or some drifting, you're going to need to turn off both the traction control system and the electronic stability control system, or Stabilitrack. You do this by pressing and holding the TCS off button for at least three seconds. You'll then get two lights up on your dash, one for the traction control and one for the Stabilitrack. In order to turn them both back on again, just press your TCS off button one more time. You can see here that in your normal drive modes, all of your stability control and traction control nannies are active. It's only when you get into the competitive driving mode or track mode, which are two separate things, do these start to change. Let's talk about the competitive driving mode first. In our Z06, the competitive driving mode is only available when sport mode is active. It won't be on when you go into track mode. In order to put the car in competitive driving mode, you will first need to put the car in sport mode and then quickly press the TCS off button twice. You'll see that your traction control and stability track lights light up, letting you know that you're in competitive driving mode. To turn this off, you just press the TCS off button one more time. If you were to try doing this in a normal mode, such as touring, eco, or weather, all you'd be doing is turning the TCS on and off. The competitive driving modes allow you to apply full throttle as you're exiting a turn, and stability track and the vehicle will determine how much gas to actually give you in order to keep your car accelerating out of the turn without losing control. You can further break down the competitive driving modes and the way the performance traction management handles the car by going into track mode. There are five different performance traction models within track mode, not including the launch control. In order to select one of the five different performance traction profiles, select track on the mode selector and then quickly press the TCS off button twice. This will bring up the different profiles for you to select using that mode selector dial. A description of what each of the profiles will do is located in the driver's manual. Pressing the TCS off button one more time will deselect the performance traction profile you've selected. From there, you can use your mode selector to move between car modes as you normally would. I'm looking forward to putting the car in sport mode and activating the competitive driving mode in order to take advantage of some of that exit acceleration. I'm interested to see what the car is gonna do. If you've had experience with this, please leave a comment down below. And as always, Thanks for watching.